And Mr. Cook, can you please unmute and state your name for the record? Gary Cook. All right, thank you. And Mr. Villanueva, can you please unmute and state your name for the record? Robert Villanueva. Okay, so I placed the two of you into a breakout room so that you two could have a conversation to see if there's any possible resolution. Um, and then at one point I have requested you both to join back to the main session here. Uh, Mr. Villanueva <clears throat> um, stated that the two of you just uh, were hanging out in there without really talking. So I had Mr. Villanueva rejoin the breakout room because the point of the two of you in a breakout room was to have a conversation to see if there's any resolution possible. And so um, the two of you uh, then were able to, I put you back in the breakout room. Was there any subsequent conversation? Nothing could yeah. come to a conclusion. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to both please raise your right hands. You saw Mr. Mariner from the testimony about to give this man the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, Mr. Cook. Yes. Mr. Villanueva. Yes. Okay, and so Mr. Cook, you own the property, correct? I do. All right, and Mr. Villanueva, how long have you resided there? Oh, a little over 12 years. Okay, and so Mr. Cook, what's going on that you want Mr. Villanueva to leave? I want to sell the house. Which is your right. And um, so, Mr. Villanueva, when did you receive your notice to quit? I called him on April 5th and I told him I want to sell the house by June. So, Mr. Villanueva, when did you receive your notice to quit? Two months ago. Two months ago, July. Yeah, he, yep, yep. As soon as he said that the house was worth 190, when I first moved in, it was 80. I had an agreement to buy it, and now all of a sudden everything's changed. I put so much money in this house. Again, I've been here over 12 years. Okay, Mr. Villanueva, just one moment. Yes, Your Honor. Is there a land contract or a rental agreement with agreement to purchase at the end? It was just a handshake. He was always cool, and we never had any issues. Okay. Well, he wants to sell. You received your notice of quit three months ago in June. I just received a letter. Sir, the notice to quit was dated June 4th. Okay. I told him I needed five days. I'll be out of here. Oh, sorry. June 7th. Sir, you've had three months. Why do you need five more days? Uh, like I said, I, I, I like I said, I take care of my mother. We got hospital equipment in here that needs to be taken out. It's just a lot of stuff. And I, I, I thought we and him would work something out. Honestly, I'd be happy to work something out. But you think I'm going to sell the house for eighty thousand? The house there, is that, worth a lot more. Come on, you Rob. told me the house. Look you told me the, the house internet. Is worth the house is worth two hundred forty thousand. <laughs> Go look on it. Go look on okay. the internet. Okay, Gary. Like I said, I can't. I'm not going to pay two hundred forty. You know, when and I I've spend never, days, you said hundred seventy. Hold on, you've been there almost. You almost one can speak at a time. And oh, you've been there know. almost thirteen years. You're paying nine hundred dollars in rent. <laughs> How many times have I raised your rent? Gary, not I, one we, time. We, we had an agreement. I was fixing every day, and you said, "If anything, you fix. Let me know. Take it off the rent." You know, I never saw the that. Power, Gary. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, now all of a sudden you didn't you, say it. So. You called and said you want. No, 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 no. We are not doing this on my record. Absolutely not. So, Sorry, Mr. Mr. Cook, you're agreeing to give Mr. Villanueva five more days? I'll give him five more days. All right, so that's 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. So that's September 11th? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So it sounds like there's a consent agreement. So that's all that you're requesting is that he move out? Uh, what about the old rent? He's been there six months not paying rent. Okay. And so, Mr. Villanueva, and so, Mr. Cook, what is the amount that's owed? Uh, 5400 
It says 45 on the papers. And yet, the, yes, I that was, was if you were there for. Mr. Cook, I, my record will not allow more than one person's information to be recorded. You cannot interrupt. Okay. What were you saying, Mr. Villanueva? Uh, he, he he got on the 4,500, but he doesn't have the security deposit or nothing on there from 12 years ago, almost 13 years ago. Mr. Villanueva, when's the last time that you paid rent? Uh, June. You paid rent in June? Yep, cash. I, I gave him cash or I gave him a check. It all depends. I've been dealing with him 13 years. I trust the guy. Hold on. Hold on. Mr. Cook, when's the last time Mr. Villanueva paid rent? April, and he's never gave me cash. Go look at his bank records. See. First of all, Mr. Cook, Mr. Hold on. Mr. Cook, oh. I'm not sure who you think you're speaking to, but you're not speaking to me like that. I can assure I, you I, I told you, April, he hasn't paid me since. You and said, go has, look at the bank records. Do you do I not said he's, what to do, sir? No, he, he has never paid me cash. <laughs> yes. I'm aware of that. That is what you stated. And then you also said, go look at his bank statements. Don't well, tell me what yes. to do. So don't tell me what to do. And I don't go looking at people's bank statements unless it's submitted as an exhibit. All right. When is the, he, what's the date that he paid rent last? Last rent he paid was March of 24. Okay, what's the date? Uh, 32224. Okay, Mr. Villanueva, do you have documentation that you paid any rent after March 22nd of 2024? I'd have to, I'd have to look because uh, I, I gave him cash. I don't understand why he's lying. <laughs> I really don't understand this right now. <laughs> Mr. Villanueva. I'm sorry, Your Honor. No. You don't have any documentation to show that you paid after March 22nd? No, Your Honor. No, I don't. Okay. Mr. Cook, what form of payment did Mr. Villanueva pay rent with on March 22nd? Check. By check. How did you pay rent in February of 24? Uh, he paid uh, ba, ba, ba. He paid in uh, January. 30th for February. Okay, and how did he pay that? Pay, how did he pay that rent? Check. Do you show any payments of rent that are in any form other than check? No. Okay. So, rent is nine hundred per month. Yes. Okay, and what day of the month is rent due? Well, it's supposed to be on the fifteenth. Okay, so April, May, June, July, August, we're not quite to September 15th yet. So five months at $900 per month is $4,500. Okay, anything else that you're requesting payment of, sir? No, not right now. I have to look inside the house, see what it's like. Okay, well, anything subsequent to this would actually have to, would obviously have to follow the statutes <clears throat> for that requirement. And so, um, Mr. Villanueva, do you agree that you owe $4,500? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right, the court's going to then enter by consent. That plaintiff is entitled to recover possession of the property. The amount now due for unpaid rent and other costs is $4,500. Um, well, you're agreeing for the elect to the 11th, but the statutory um, time is the 16th. But you're agreeing to the 11th? I'll give them to the 16th. Okay. All right. The court, uh, if that amount is not paid or if that's not about on before September 16th, Plan for apply for an order evicting the defendants. Additional money may be owed if damage to the property occurs or right continues to accrue, which it's going to be due on the 15th. <clears throat> if um, 
and partial people will not prevent the court from issuing order to the defendant. And and you requested a money judgment, and so the court will order a money judgment will enter because that was requested and paid for in your complaint. All right. Any questions? Um, I just have a uh a thousand dollars security deposit. Will that come off the forty five hundred? Well, that's up to you and Mr. Cook to discuss. Um, outside of right, I don't need to know any of that at this point. Um, if that is something that the two of you um, discuss or agree on, then that is um, something that you can do if you choose to do that. And um, I can put the two of you back in a breakout room if you like. Oh, that's that's fine. That's that's fine, Your Honor. I'm sorry, I was still speaking. What was that, sir? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I totally apologize. Okay, so you don't want a breakout room? No, no. I just want to be done with it. It was money to be done with it. Okay. All right. The court will. Um, the court has the judgment, and the court will sign that judgment, and you will receive a copy in the mail. Or you can even come pick it up if you want to pick it up. All right, Your Honor. So uh, be out by, like I said, you said the 15th, you said? What's that yeah. story? Oh, okay. Hold on just a moment. Mr. Cook, what were your court costs? Uh, Maybe a couple hundred dollars at the most. Okay. Do you have any documentation as to how much I need, to, I need that dollar amount? Uh, no, I don't really have it. Okay. So the court's going to then keep that amount $4,500. All right. Good luck to you both. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah.